my name is Rick and welcome to section 4.5 building a goals application from scratch using the mean stack so in this video we're gonna be covering a couple things we're gonna be covering the goals page and we're gonna be covering uh, the sub goals page and essentially these two pages do some of the same uh, things which is update a goal because a goal is a goal and a sub goal is a type of goal so uh, if you come from an object oriented uh, background this is an is a relationship and I actually mocked this up back in our uh, database design that I discussed back in section 4.0 for 4.3 um, talking about the database design and the schemas and whatnot so in this video I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you the the actual demo of what's actually built so if you go into forward slash goals you must be logged in as you can tell here in the left corner Rick is actually logged in and you can actually undertake goals and what essentially undertake goals is is this uh, page which is in essence called create a goal and right here you can go ahead and actually do your whole uh, CRUD actions on each of the goals. So what am I talking about? So I'm gonna go ahead and create a goal here and we get this nice window. Uh, so if you, uh, you must be saying why is there text there already? Well, uh, if you want to be smart about your goals, don't make me repeat what smart is because if you don't know what it is, go back to a previous video. Uh, so you want to be really smart about your goals. So you want to essentially have a framework that would empower you to actually complete your goals and not just set a goal and not necessarily do anything about it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in one of my goals. Here, give me one sec. To earn $32,000 online. And I want to make this goal happen before, let's see, we probably want to do something like around December 31st. So before 2015 ends, I have to earn $32,000 online. And if you read this little helper, it says I'm easily going to earn $32,000 online no later than December 31st, 2015. And over here on the right hand side of the screen, we have this uh, enter a goal description. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my description now. I'm going to enter my description here, which is to bring so much value to the market that the only option they have is to oblige by the rule of economics and pay me my money. Perfect. So I'm going to go right here and click create. So this went ahead and created a goal for me. Well, what does that mean? Well, now that I have a goal and it's pretty uh, specific, now I actually have to go ahead and um, create sub goals under that goal because it's it's all great and nice to say that I'm actually going to earn thirty two thousand dollars online, but how am I actually how am I actually going to go about earning thirty two thousand dollars online? I don't have a essentially a sub goal that would go under this goal in order to make this happen. So I'm going to go ahead and click add a sub goal. And right here, we're back in kind of the same window we were in previously. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a sub goal for this goal. For that, so which is essentially, once again, I put it into this little framework. I'm easily going to finish my Drupal Beginner's Guide to Developing Websites no later than. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself a deadline for this. And I'm going to say for this one, I actually want to get this done before May 5th. All right. So now I want to go ahead and give a description to this sub goal. And I'm going to go ahead and type this in right now. So I'm going to go ahead and check that for spelling. And right here is saying goal total. So you must be asking, well, what is this goal total? Essentially what the goal total is, is to be able to actually measure uh, how far we're moving into this, uh, into this goal. Because uh, obviously uh, right now I have about 7%, no, 11% of this book completed. So I can say something like, I want to complete my book, which is 100% which leaves me with 81% that I still need to write. So in order for me to be able to actually do this, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of math and I'll be right back. Calculator. Figure out how many pages I need to write before uh, May 5th, which is when I want to publish my book. So this is actually pretty straightforward. I have about 10% of the book completed, which is actually 30 pages. And if you times that by nine, which is 90% of what I'm missing, which essentially turns out to be 270 pages that I need to write. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 270. I'm going to click, go ahead and click create. And this goes ahead and creates a sub goal under my original goal. So it says I'm easily going to finish my Drupal beginner's guide to developing websites no later than May 5th, 2015. 
see how very specific we are and not only are we specific we are also stating how many pages I have to complete which is 270 so now I'm gonna go ahead and create another sub goal under this goal so add a sub goal and I'm gonna go ahead and enter another sub goal here in order to earn thirty two thousand dollars online this original goal is to complete uh, I'm easily going to complete a video of tutorials using Drupal 8 to create a website no later than so this probably has to get done before I publish my book so I'm gonna say um, April 30th so this will give me a rough uh, baseline to doing this and I know this is actually gonna require about 50 videos of me talking about Drupal and I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and enter a description for uh, for this goal uh, the description for this is to create 50 videos that are included when you purchase the book so great I'm gonna go ahead and hit create and as you can see once again I went ahead and updated our uh, our current goals list so now we have a one goal and we have two sub goals and as you can see the pattern here you can start adding more sub goals and creating more goals so I'm gonna go ahead and create one more goal just so we can get more data here for our application my other goal is I am easily going to learn to dance salsa and bachata no later than whichever date I want to give myself to and actually for this one this is actually going to be a really tough goal so I'm actually going to go all the way till November let's see November 29th of 2015 and right here I went ahead and gave it a little description and I'm going to go ahead and hit create so I went ahead and created another goal here I'm going to go ahead and create another sub goal under that goal as well from the previous uh, sub goals that I've created this is really simple I'm going to take five, sal five salsa classes and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this into take lowercase t and I'm gonna go ahead and find a great instructor to learn how to dance salsa and I'm also gonna go ahead and give you give myself a deadline for this one and for this one I'm gonna say May let's say May 29th so uh, I'm easily going to take five salsa classes no later than May 29th 2015 and I'm gonna go ahead and once again create this sub goal and I'm gonna go ahead and create one more sub goal then I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple things so create a sub goal or I'm gonna go ahead and enter the total here I'm actually gonna go uh, go out and dance to a club let's say 15 times and let's say this before uh, this is actually gonna be before October 30th perfect so um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit create on this one now we have essentially a pretty good list of goals and sub goals and essentially what we're going to be doing in order to achieve these goals so I'm going to go back to the home page and kind of show you what the public will be able to see because essentially that's 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 what's ultimately going to drive me to complete these goals is uh, the public being able to pressure me to actually complete these goals because some of these goals are going to be fairly challenging in a lot of different aspects of my life so um, in order for, in order to get feedback from people that's going to be a great thing to do so I'm gonna click on no Rick and once again we're here back on the home page but from the previous video uh, you guys didn't see that uh, this uh, goals here so as you can see we have two goals here we have I'm easily going to earn thirty two thousand dollars online no later than December 31st 2015 I'm easily going to dance salsa and bachata no later than November 29 2015 and as you can see, we have a goal title. We have the progress here, which is still mocked up. It's not the actual progress it's in the works. So essentially, once I complete a goal, I can go on here and say, uh, I completed the goal. The goal is complete. So then this will turn into complete it, and it will pretty much be the date that I completed it. So there's this little arrow you can actually go ahead and click on. And this will actually give you a little drop down of what the sub goals of that goal is. So for this example, um, you know, here's the, the sub goals that we actually entered into the database, which is I'm easily going to finish Drupal Beginner's Guide Developing Websites no later than May 5th, 2015. Same thing for learning to dance. If you click on here, bam, we can see the learning to dance sub goals. And I feel like this is really uh, crucial in order for me to uh, actually achieve some of my goals that I'm um, set out to do so that's it for this video I went ahead and showed you uh, how to create read update and delete a sub goal how to create read update and delete a goals a goal just a goal and if we go back here just to just to really uh, solidify this this is a full um, crud so if you do 270 let's say it's actually gonna be 250 on the book hit update and if you click here 250 
same thing with the goal you can go ahead and edit the goal anywhere you want update and as you can see these are all being updated we're having a full crud uh interaction with our database and as you can see i'm actually deleting my sub goals here deleting goals as well so that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully you found it uh, useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and get ready for section 4.6 where we're actually going to be uh, discussing how to complete and log the goals for each of the single days because that's essentially what's going to make you successful because you got to be actually measuring your goals to see if you're actually walking the path you want to go down. So if, um, and that kind of comes back to setting up your timeline and being realistic with yourself in order to achieve those goals. So uh, see you in the next video. Uh, make sure you stay tuned. We'll see